TV is Kazo P here back with another reaction. This time we'll be reacting to uh, gangs, drugs, and sex inside Rikers Island. This girl right here was a correctional officer. This is on Vice. If you want to watch anything more of it, you're going to have to see this on Vice. But we're going to go ahead and start the screen recording in three, two, one, go. Video playing now. She's Island, supposed to talk about the horrors or Island the bad is times or whatever. an island with nine jails that house inmates awaiting trial. There's been multiple occasions when I've been touring and an inmate will pull his penis out, will masturbate. I figured that's what she's going to say. Fires in their cell. You can be walking doing your tour and all well, of a sudden they... urine or feces is thrown at you. <laughs> the inmates are in there for. Hey, on the first note, why do you, why do they put girl corrections officers in all men male prisons? Dude, the dudes either going a try to fuck you, or the girl has the kink for that and wants to get fucked by these niggas or want to watch them do the shit. Same, it, it go both ways on that one. But why why do they put girl girl correctional officers in there? And the feces thing that's just funny. They Murder, that right rape, Murder. domestic violence. Burglary, robbery, domestic violence, it's just in an prison. An island filled with gangs that are constantly trying to kill each other. It's Almost just violence. There ain't no domestic violence. Weapons, in prison. Knives or sharp objects. Officers would be assaulted. There is more because on the outside it of prison. Can range from a broken nose to a broken eye socket, broken bones, broken ribs. There's no limit like to what these inmates would do to you. We are at a time where the inmates this mash is crazy. are running the prison. There is definitely officers accepting bribes. I guess that's why it's called the informer. I was hired to provide custody, care, and control okay. of the inmates. The system has definitely failed everyone involved. The inmates, the officers, everyone involved is suffering. 60 people quit in one day. The captain would sure, start with the inmate before they, they would start. my job they probably too worried now. about that publicity because they're trying to I'm keep sure like 60 people put a factory in there. Drugs is very rampant. There's K2, fentanyl, marijuana. Any drug basically you could think of, they probably have it. K2 the is value of crazy. Any drug the fact that you're still smoking K2 is fucking more than it would beyond be me. On the outside, maybe like five times you know, more. I ain't never did nothing with K2, but when I was a kid, you guys remember they used to sell that shit in the gas station? I remember thinking it was candy and shit, and my mom would be like, nah, bro, that's K2. Definitely officers crazy. accepting rides. Not only officers, but civilians bring it in as well. The people who are in charge of programs, doctors, nurses. During the pandemic, visits were suspended, so they weren't getting them through visits. Some of them are scared. Some of them do it for the money. On Rikers, the alcohol is called hooch. Yeah. And what they would do is you save their fruit make it, you make and it the they would toilet. prevent the fruit. They would mix it with hot water and sugar. Oh, and they would let it sit. And then you put it in a bag and then you burp it and all that shit. I ain't even been to prison. I know what that shit is. There. She's not saying that the motherfucker on the outside feeling. of prison and would wouldn't know from just knowing the motherfuckers they would in prison. Each other, start but she had to see it face to face to be fair. I remember the first time that an inmate masturbated in front of me. I was feeding them through the feeding slot. Mm. Once you open their slot to put their tray, they would like put their penis in the slot. <laughs> I screamed and the other officers on the floor was like, what happened? And I was like, he's masturbating. And they were like, oh. <coughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. But I mean, I mean, oh my God, that's so bad. That's fucking hilarious. I mean, there is other inmates getting like donkey punched and took him from behind though, but that's pretty fucking. He does that to everyone. Whoa. Like it was just normal. Yeah, he I did to everybody. I mean, he didn't miss nobody. I felt disrespected. I felt scared. I remember being scared to do my It's tours. worse than nigga catch there you with two to the chest. A time in the building that I worked. Oh. Where Not trying to make fun of it, but what what if he had a cutter with two shotgun blasts to the chest? Pow, pow, like. Yeah, we're gonna continue. An inmate got into the A station where a female officer was. He was able to rip her duty belt off, 
ripped her pants off. Thankfully, an officer came, oh, yeah, was able to come and help her. He was being held for rape. I believe his intentions help were her to or rape stop her. her. Okay. They suggested that we wear yeah. skinks. They stopped underneath our uniform for just in case. It shouldn't be a just in case. Am I going to go to work today and is my belt going to be ripped off? Some of the inmates are used to the cover spray, so mm -hmm. it does nothing Which to Which is my them. point but to where girl officers should probably be at girl prisons. It's not sexist. It's I'm just like these niggas are repressed niggas. Like, do I spray and get. The, you got you got to also think like it's not the same as like regular on the street dudes. It is very hit and miss if this nigga's a creep or this nigga's a creep. Most niggas is generally pretty regular, but in prison, even if they're not a creep, they're repressed. You know what I mean? You ain't ate food for like thirty hours. You gonna be hungry than a motherfucker. You around some prisoners that ain't got pussy in years. It, it's gonna be hard on you. Cut or what do I do? If some of your cops in, are there just to tear you down? If you report something or you get into an incident, they want to know what did you do wrong? What did you not do to prevent it? You're more likely to end up in jail being a corruption officer than you would as a civilian. Which I see what you're saying. Suicide attempts on Rikers are pretty common. It breaks my heart. It. They are humans. And I believe it, motherfuckers be feeling like they feel like there ain't nothing else they can do. It's just sad. Typically, if there are about 50 inmates to one officer, the job was so draining that I was literally coming from work and sleep until my next shift the next morning. Then the pandemic hit, and that's when I actually started getting stuck. That's 16 hours back. Were back, they releasing people at a high rate from Rikers during She's that? She's like, I want 24 hours and they won't let me leave. And they're saying if I walk off the post, I'm going to get suspended. You're on post for 24 hours and then a fight breaks out and they expect you to do everything right on no sleep. You're supposed to still do your duties to the best yeah. of your ability. That's your like, job. I've seen female officers terminated for having relationships okay. with the inmates. There has been incidents where That's what I'm saying. It officers goes, have been impregnated by inmates. Oh, Once you start it goes both ways. Hold on, we go pause it right there. But look, I like I said, I used to work at a cemetery. If it was time to cre cremate a motherfucker, and I said I don't feel like cremating a motherfucker, somebody would be mad. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of part of the job. There ain't nothing we can really do about that. I'm gonna continue. With this. an inmate, or once you say yes to them once, you can't say no because you're locked in. You're trapped at that point. I didn't have a coping method. I had chest pain. I've had colleagues die from heart attacks. I remember thinking I'm 21 and I'm gonna have a heart attack. I hit rock bottom. I actually tried to quit like three times. Then pregnant you know, was to so stay in the fight. That I remember already. getting to a point where I was like, I, I can't do this anymore. It just gave me the paper to sign and I'm done. I remember still feeling that chest pain for probably up to five months after I quit until it went away. Yeah. Right after me, hundreds of people were quitting. If I can talk to an officer that was looking to join, corrections i would tell them don't do it it's not worth your quality of life it's not worth your mental health and it's not until worth the there is some sort of structure and safety you should we're gonna go ahead and end the video right there until there's more su structure and safety she doesn't feel like this is a good place to work you should find something else and or better to do which I understand where she's coming from with that. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Um, go ahead and continue to like, subscribe, share, continue to fuck with me. Thank you for watching. Bye.